Okay, what we're going to do on this problem is deal with a vertical tangent. And if you remember from the old school days, y equals one third x, it looks something like this. We're going from negative eight, negative two, which let's just say is here, to positive eight, positive two, we'll say is here. This graph looks something like this. Okay, and we've got a vertical tangent right here at zero. We're going to have a vertical tangent when x equals zero. We can't handle that with a derivative because that's going to put a zero in the denominator and we don't know how to account for that. So what we can do to figure out the length of this line and still use the rules that we know about derivatives is we can solve this for x, solve this equation for x. So to do that, we're going to um, raise both sides to the third power. So third power here, third power here. And now we've got y cubed equals x. What that does is it gives us a function that now we can we can use and, and it makes a slight change so that we can not have um, that vertical tangent there. So it's basically if I draw it on the x-axis it's basically now saying hey we can we can look at this guy instead of a really flat guy here okay. Um, so use your rules. We know that the length of the curve is the integral from a to b, which in this case now is going to be the coordinates on the y-axis of the square root of 1 plus x prime squared dy. Okay, that's the only difference. So now what do we need? We need the derivative of x. So x prime is equal to 3y squared, our derivative rules do not change, and we can make the substitution. So what does it look like when we get done? Well, we're going from negative 8, 2, uh, negative 8, negative 2 to 8, 2. So those y coordinates don't change, so we're looking at an integral from negative 2 to 2 of the square root of 1 plus 3y squared squared dy. And I, uh, I don't have a problem if you want to go ahead and punch this in on your calculator. If you want to simplify the radical a little bit, you can do that as well. So it's going to be negative 2 to 2 of the radical 1 plus 9y squared, or 9y to the fourth the dy. And when you punch this into your calculator, you can still punch in with x's. So that doesn't make a difference uh, whether you do that or not, OK? And what I got on my calculator uh, is, when I punch it in, I get that the length of my curve is 17.26 units. So there are instances when it's going to be easier to um, go ahead and change your equation from one to the other to do what you need to do. Sometimes it's easier also to stop at a specific point and start again. There's that option as well. Uh, as long as you cover all the bases, okay? So there you go. Lengths of curves, not bad at all. Enjoy.